guys my name is Abhishek and welcome back to MBBS Treasure channel. In this video we are going to read about the reactivity and resistance of an organism in response to change in the external factors. Till now whatever we have read we have read about the general pathophysiology. It means we have read that how the disease occurs, what are its mechanisms, what are its subtypes or what are its periods and then secondly we discussed that uh, what are the external uh, environmental elements that causes the pathological actions leading to a uh, development of a pathological conditions in the human beings okay similarly in that manner we are going to discuss another general pathophysiology concept that is resistance and reactivity this topic uh, I will tell frankly that this topic may not help you in croc because, because from this very concept the there is no framing of questions in the croc but this concept will help you to build uh, the important concepts in your mind about the pathophysiology about how a disease is getting inherited through a family chart or among the species groups and what are the effects of the disease with uh, changing environments okay so that we are going to read about this today's topic before starting today's topic i want to uh, just make a short word for the both the resistance sorry the reactivity and resistance that is the tendency of the organisms to survive okay so what we are going to read today is reactivity and resistance what do i mean by that and how it will lead to the survival of the organisms so all these things are interrelated to each other and they are uh, as in they are acts or they acts as an important factors with the changing environment okay now first of all what is reactivity reactivity means the ability to react yes it's the ability of an organism to react with the changing environment if the environment will change of course the organisms will try to survive in that conditions as the as the environment is not always suitable for the organisms so the organisms will try to survive in that changing environment and that survival leads to react react to the environment that is nothing but reaction to a stimuli and here the stimuli is nothing but the change in environment okay so in this reactivity we are going to understand that how a disease is flowing through the hereditary or the family chart okay now the reactivity has its own types Similarly, in that manner, resistance also it has its own times. So, what are the kinds of reactivity? Reactivity can be divided according to the level of inheritance. It could be like species, groups, and individuals. It could be according to the action of external factors on an organisms. Like it could be non-specific and specific reactivity, and it could be like physical, physical, and pathological reactivity. And the fourth one, it could be according to the types of reactivity, whether it is increasing, decreasing or disordered type of reactivity. First of all, I will, uh, I have written these things, but I will give you each examples of these terms. Okay, so that you can understand these words and uh, the phrase completely. What do you mean by according to the level of inheritance? It means there are species groups and in individual let let's make a chart of family like this okay now if this represents a species if this row represents a group Okay, and this row represents an individual. So, 
according to the reactivity there will there will be different level of inheritance for example if a character is present or if a reactivity that is present in a species then what does it means that if the species has a reactivity then the whole things below the species will have the same character or the same gene to the changing environment similarly in that manner if a group will have then from that below the group itself and also the individual will have the same character but if a individual will have a personal character that will remain in himself only not it will it will not be present in total group uh, and also if a character that is present in a group it will not be present in the species so it is divided according to the level of inheritance how a disease or how a character or how a gene is getting inherited from top to bottom and if we are supposed to find the reactivity if a character is present in the species of course the whole fellow organisms that are under the species will follow the same character will show the same reactivity to the changing environment but in the individual what happens the personal or the self individual person will show a single character but that will not be present in the whole group okay that is the that is the reason why it is also divided according to the level of inheritance okay now comes the second one that is what are non specific and specific reactivity and how it is divided it is divided according to the change in action of external environmental factors okay what do you mean by this concept first one is non specific and specific from the word itself you can say that there will be no specific reactivity whatever the external factor will come there will be no specific reactivity and secondly there will be a specific reactivity to a certain or a, to a specific change in the environment or a stimuli what does that mean non specific for an example if a person uh, is trying like in previous uh, previously we have studied that a person is climbing mountains it's going to high um, a higher level from the normal level of atmospheric pressure where he feels less barometric pressure and in that condition there is a development of hypoxia condition and in that hypoxia condition the body will try to ventilate itself it means the vital organs uh, the functions of the vital vitals will get activated similarly when uh, there will be any kind of danger to danger near you there will be activation of protective functions of our body or organism so whatever the change in environment will occur there will be a single reaction or reactivity of the organisms and it is not specific but in specific reactivity what does that means if there will be a single disease let's say for an example uh, there is there there will be an infectious disease or there will be a viral disease then in response to that the specific antibody will be produced by our immunity system to fight that uh, to fight that infections and that is nothing but will come under this specific reactivity because the body is fighting or the body is creating that specific antibody against a specific antigen that is the reason why it will come under specific reactivity okay now comes the physiological and pathological reactivity physiological reactivity is nothing but the all the normal reactions or the fib at favorable or comfortable conditions of the environment whatever we are doing like we are thinking we are eating uh, our food is getting digested all these things are occurring in a normal environmental conditions and this normal environmental conditions also has some reaction it means our body has also some reactions to this normal conditions as we are living and 
that reactivity is known, known as physiological reaction reactivity but pathological reactivity will occur when there will be a pathological factors that will try to harm or that will try to effect on the living organisms and it will cause the pathological conditions then we will find the pathological reactivity of that organisms to the pathological factor okay next comes according to the types of reactivity like there can be hyper reactivity it can be hypoergia means there will be less reactivity the organisms will not be reactive uh, will not be uh, reactive in that much amount to the change in environmental factor and dysergia it means perversion reactivity perversion reaction reactivity means it is distorted it means there will be not specific reaction to the changing uh, organisms uh, sorry changing external factors okay then comes the reactivity depends as this uh, topic is present so of course it will also depends on certain factors as these things are present so it will also depends on certain factors like age sex heredity constitutions environmental factors so these are the things that uh, for an example a uh, middle age if you will take an example like a child a middle age and a old person whose reactivity will be maximum and for an example like sex like in male and female the females are more hardy to hypoxia why this term is said because during the menstrual cycle or the female suffers to have the less immunity power and there will be there will be change of reactivity with different kinds of environment okay heredity 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 means there will be uh, there will be uh, components of gene that will be responsible for fighting with the environment and as we know that different family have different heredity different genes so there will there will be different kinds of reactivity according to heredity constitutions constitutions means there will be body constitutions uh, whether the the person is physically fit or not whether the person is physically healthy or not so it depends on body constitution and finally the environmental factors okay so this is all about the reactivity how the types are divided according to what kinds so the questions are mainly asked the definition of reactivity and what are the types you should be able to know the minimum things or uh, you should be able to distinguish each of them for the betterment of your concepts okay next comes the resistance what do you mean by resistance it is nothing but the ability to defend or remain stable it means as the environment is causing two types of changes in the organisms that is the ability to react and as the organism is reacting and the organisms also should stay or defend that reaction to remain stable in that reaction and to get firm with that reaction so that the organisms will survive okay so this things you should uh, this thing should be present in your mind that the organism is trying to survive with the changing in the environment conditions so resistance means the ability to defend remain stable and firmness to the reaction okay now in same manner the resistance are also divided to some kinds like the passive resistance and active resistance what do you mean by passive and active resistance passive resistance means the body will not form any kind of resistance factor against the change and in active resistance means the body will be forming the resistant factor to the change in the environment what do you mean by this for a, let's say for an example the passive resistance it means the our body has the anatomical physiological and uh, biological barriers in response to the pathogenic agents uh, that are going to harm to our body but in, in that condition our body is not doing anything uh, neither the body is producing any kind of resistant factor in response to the change in the environment 
but they are present in natural condition it means the anatomical and physiological barriers or the biological barriers are present in natural conditions so they offers the passive resistance and in case of active resistance what happens when there will be any kind of it um, when there will be any kind of antigens comes to our body then our body tries to produce the antibodies and in response to that our body shows this active resistance okay so this this as i have previously said that these terms are interrelated so you can get the same examples of this next comes the innate resistance and acquired resistance from the very concept or uh, from the very word you can understand that innate means the character or the resistance that are getting inherited through the family okay you are going to get the same resistance as your father or mother has but in acquired resistance what do you mean by this acquired resistance means Uh, through your development of your life like phylogenesis and antigenesis process there will be development of certain characters in your body that will help you to resist the change in the environment and that is nothing but the acquired resistance okay because you are acquiring that character to survive to the change in the environment so it is known as acquired resistance then comes the specific and non specific resistance so in a similar manner there will be there can be specific resistance to a specific product or there can be non specific resistance to a non specific factor okay so this was all our today's topic uh, we read about the reactivity resistance and also the there is a concept or there is a word Uh, that is adaptations that comes under this topic adaptations means the organisms try to survive in response to the change in our environment including these two terms reactivity and resistance the organisms try to include or try to adapt the surroundings by reacting and resisting okay so in this topic we read about reactivity and resistance okay so this was all for today's topic uh, i hope you understood the term reactivity and resistance uh, it will help you to understand the bookes language as it is written in more complex form uh, but this video will help you uh, so if uh, you find this helpful please give a like share and subscribe to my channel okay thank you so much for watching my video